A Peavely teenager drowned while trying to swim across the current river. 16-year-old Trenton Crane was supposed to be a junior next year. Today, our Justina Cornell spoke to his father and aunt, who remembers Trenton as a loving boy. If he seen that you were down, he would go out of his way to make you happy. Trenton Crane was supposed to be a junior here at Herculaneum High School, and now his family is remembering him as a boy who always had a smile on his face and was always trying to help others. He always put everybody else before him. Brandon Crane is in shock, despair, and utter grief. His 16-year-old son Trenton drowned Tuesday on the current river while hanging out with friends. He just loved going and, and being with his friends. You know, it was, uh, school was an outlet for him. Despite his death taking a toll on them, his family says it's his life on earth that has made the biggest impact. There wasn't a person that met Trenton that didn't like him. Anessa Wildman is Trenton's aunt. She remembers her nephew as someone who always had a grin from ear to ear. He was the most loving kid I've probably ever met in my life. As for Trenton's dad, he says that Trenton adored his two brothers, a clear sign that family came first in their household. <laughs> He was my mini me, you know. He would look exactly like me. He tried to mimic me, you know, and you know, you know, that's the greatest flattery that a father could have. Is, you know, that his son wants to be like him. So yeah, I'd say our bond was pretty, you know, it was pretty good. And while this tight knit family tries to grasp the pain, they're doing everything they can to just stick together and remember Trenton's life as a meaningful one. So this is probably one of the hardest things that we're going to have to get through, but we'll get through it and we'll keep Trenton's memory alive as we do it. Justina Cornell, Five on Your Side. There is a GoFundMe set up for funeral costs, and if you'd like to help out, we have a link on our website, ksdk.com.